What's up, my wonderful sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed Sunday afternoon to you all. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. All right, my viewers and subscribers. So, uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at an interview that our white ball captain Nicholas Spuran did. You know, uh, basically summing up the Netherlands uh, series talking about some of the things that they achieve and some of the stuff that they are going to be working on going forward. So I have a couple of pointers jot down here from the interview that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Plus I'm going to be uh, giving you some more information as it relates to the four-day regional championship, as it relates to the points, uh, standing and the position that each team actually finished in. So just stick around until the end and make sure you give a listening ear, all right? Also, if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you leave a like and drop a comment on the video. All right, my viewers and subscribers. So, um, the Netherlands uh, tour is done and dusted. And the players are now looking to see what they can do in the series against Pakistan. And I was actually taking a look at an interview earlier today that was done by the captain, Nicholas Puran. Apparently, they were in the plane. I don't know where they were headed to. But um, the interview was being carried out while they were there. And um, the interviewer was actually asking him a couple of interesting things. Uh, as usual, Nicholas Puran was able to handle himself pretty well, saying some other, saying the, the things that we want to hear. But uh, majority of the time, the West Indies captains and, and coaches are usually saying the right thing. But it's just that sometimes, you know, we don't see it translate or we don't see it manifest on the field. But anyway, um, Puran was basically saying, you know, it was a good series, a good um, team effort. And the team was able to, um, to, to basically bind together and, you know, they were able to band together and a lot of them were learning on the job. And it's good to see that they were able to back each other and uh, come away with the victory. According to what Nicholas Puran is saying, at the beginning of the series, they had set some goals as it relates to batting out 50 overs and bowling out teams. And we know that that is something that we have always struggled with. Um, as it relates to really staying out there and batting 50 overs. And I think that is one of the main reasons why they were experimenting with uh, Nkuma Bonner in the team. Uh, let me say, so far the experiment, it, it, it hasn't worked, but um, I can understand why they were experimenting um, like that. So, you know, Puran is saying, especially in the third and final game, they were, they were actually able to achieve um, that goal as it relates to batting out 50 overs and, you know, bowling teams. Um, bowling the team out so uh, hopefully this is something that we will get used to seeing you know not only when we are playing Netherlands or Ireland but um, you know hoping that this is something that we will continue to see you know and um, we just have to continue to improve we just have to continue to um, take it a step at a time the captain also spoke about um, you know where the new ball is concerned, you know, the bowlers definitely need to try and see if they can step it up, improve, utilize the new ball, pick up wickets, because, you know, sometimes we leave too much for, for the bowler, for, for them to do at the back end when we don't utilize the new ball. So I, I definitely agree with Puran there, you know, um, but as it relates to the batsmen, you know, he said that the batsmen really settled in nicely. And they played their role as it relates to going out there, making sure that, that, they, that they actually got um, enough runs. We had top order batsmen, not even batsmen, batsmen getting centuries, right? We see people like Brooks and Mayors and Shea Hope, Brandon King getting um, good runs. And uh, once the top order is getting some runs, then it simply means the team is going to have some runs to defend. And that is what uh, Brandon, um, sorry, Nicholas Puran was talking about that it's very important for the batsmen especially to get some runs and we know he puts himself in that um, list it wasn't a successful tour for him at all he basically failed in all three games as relates to the um to the to the batting and it's not like it's not a case where we where he went out there with one or two overs remaining in the games you know he went out at time when when we were probably set or when he could stay there and bat and you know he got out to the spinner three times on the trot so you know i i am i am sure that he's aware that you know he needs to improve uh his performance you know when you have a captain it's good when the captain is is when the team is winning but you also want to know that the captain is performing my viewers and subscribers so that is definitely something that um nicholas puran will will look um look on and uh he also spoke about trust 
that they are looking to continue to build the sort of trust where batsmen at the top know that you know they, if they go out there and get their part of the job done you know they can they, they they are trusting the others to come in and basically finish things off and know that all right this is how we're going to do it to make sure that we put competitive totals on the board or to make sure that we chase um totals successfully so um you know it, 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 as i said it was a good series what was in terms of getting the points because if we if we actually watch the game uh one could say that the games especially the last one was too close for comfort you understand if it was too close for comfort i know i know it's it's some person's going to say a win is a win but if we're looking to build and compete against pakistan and england and india and australia you know we need to put ourselves in that category and say you know when they come up against these teams we need to um make sure that we are we are we are um ruthless against them and you know we we weren't really ruthless and quite a few and few occasions the bowling the bowling wasn't as penetrative as one would have wanted it to be so you know i i am not knocking them it's not like it's not like i am i am i am um happy for the win and yet still i am grumbling but you know you still have to point out certain things that you know you might get past when you're playing netherlands but you won't get past when you're playing certain other teams so it's a good confidence builder it's a good way to start but um they definitely need to just continue now we, we got a chance to to see three debutants in the odi series captain nicholas puran spoke to this you know he spoke about casey carty coming in and batting very maturely you know just playing his cricket and um batting down the order got the opportunity to grab it with both hands especially in the game where uh, he was able to stay there with Brandon King and bring the game home for us. So, you know, it was good to see Casey Carty. As I said, guys, two things that I that I that I was actually looking forward to in this series. Um, I realized two of them somewhat, but one of them not so much. You know, before the series started, I had indicated that I wanted to see Casey Carty play in all three games and see what is what is what he's capable of. You know, we got a chance to see him batting and um i also had said that i wanted to see Jaden seals in the games partnering up with, with alzari joseph just to see the sort of pressure that they can put on batsmen and how it would work and i also had said that nicholas Spuran, i wanted him to leave with a century didn't work didn't work out any at all even if you combine all three games together i didn't get anywhere near the century so hopefully um you know his form will turn around once he once we go up against uh, Pakistan. So, you know, uh, as it relates to the next deb the, the other debutants, uh, the next one, Sherman Lewis. You know, he didn't start off too well with the ball according to Puran, but in the latter part he was able to come back and basically help to win the game for us, picking up a couple of wickets in the back end there. So, um, when all is said and done, my viewers and subscribers, it's good that we won the series. But if we are looking forward, if we are looking to the future. There are definitely quite a few things that we are going to need to make sure that we get um, sorted out. So that is it where that interview is concerned. Uh, just basically tying that one up in a bow for you guys. All right. So before we go, I'm just going to dive a little bit into um, the, the four day regional championship. Yesterday, I had revealed to you guys that Bar uh, Barbados they were able to secure the title back to back right and my thing is this i am not too happy with playing only five games and being crowned champion and this is not me knocking barbados this is me knocking the the, the, the whole organization and the whole the whole structure of the thing playing five games and and, and being crowned champion is absolutely foolishness in my opinion you know in, in in terms of you know you're not going to be able to develop your, your cricketers that way you need players to be playing way more cricket than than, than playing five matches that is, is foolishness man and they need to stop the foolishness and, and and try and see if they can put together um you know i don't know if we're going to find more team find another team or we're just going to extend it but something needs to be done you cannot be you cannot be playing that is the level that, that we want to pick west in this test team from how we, how we have them playing five matches the foolishness I understand. So, um, as I said, Barbados won though. They, they they finished at the top of the points table with seventy six point two points. Think they won about two games and lost one. Uh, we had Leeward Islands. They did extremely well this year. You know, it's good to see Leeward Islands coming up and and and, and doing their thing. Uh, seventy two point six points. They finished on uh, with two victories. I think three victories and a loss also. Guyana sixty one points. Uh, two two victories and a, and a loss. So. 
Um, Guyana is in third, Trinidad and Tobago uh, finishing off their, series, their, their, their tournament on 54.2 points. Two wins also, I think, and a loss. Jamaica, you know, uh, 43.8 points, win only one game. I think they won only one, one game and lost a couple of games, you know. This is where I usually, as I always tell people that this is where I bring up regional um, competition. When it comes on to West Indies cricket, the best 11 that is out there, I support the best 11. You understand? But when it comes on to regional cricket, I want to see Jamaica beat the other teams. You know, is I for those who listen to this program, you guys will know that. A lot of times I always say this. When it's West Indies team, if we can find, the, if the 11 best players in the region comes from Guyana, comes from Trinidad, comes from Leeward, somewhere in Leeward or Winwood, Anywhere the 11 best players come from, put them on the team for me. And once they are the 11 best you can find in the region, if it's even one country or, or, or one island, I don't care. Once it's 11 best, you know, because I, I don't have time to fight against no other team, no other island for West Indies. But when it comes down to regional cricket, even though everybody going eventually um, compete to get in the West Indies team, this is where I bring Jamaica and I want them to dominate. You understand, but we didn't do much. We, we finished in fourth on 43 points. And Windward Islands, they actually finished at the bottom with 26.8 points. Um, they didn't, they weren't able to pick up any victory, my viewers and subscribers. So, yeah, that is basically how the tournament finished off. As I said, I, I am not too, too much of a fan of this tournament because I don't think you should be playing five games, games and be getting um, crowned as champion. Foolishness, but. That is why I am in the chair talking and not running CWI or, or regional cricket. But we're going to leave this one right here for now, my peeps. Just go and big up on yourself until later. And Zane, I'm out.